Hello, my name is Alan Frank Hill. I am here in London at 32 Green Street, connected uh, in a gallery which is part of the Brazilian Embassy to see the show of Marianita Luzzati. And one of the first things that uh, one does see when one comes in is a video of a train ride through, I think it's the southeast of Brazil, where the fascinating thing is that you have the presence of, uh, of nature that's very really intense, its colors, but you have absolutely uh, no sight of a human being. You have some animals, you have a little bit of a cultivated terrain, and at any time as you try to grasp the, um, the forms, they have already gone by, and if one moves effectively towards the paintings, uh, you have what I assume are telegraph poles or lights, something that is absolutely man-made, but you're at the point that as you, you don't know if they're dissolving or if you approach them, they can gain a consistency. And effectively, even though it's a contradiction in terms, it all seems to be in a no man's land. But it is a land where there is no person and where matter is dissolving. There's a wonderful element also in these, if we can call them seascapes, where Then I do have to make a comparison, and I say where these work and something that I had seen yesterday doesn't work, is in the show of uh, Peter Doig's at the uh, Tate Britain, where there's a, a similar use of how to use the paint, but instead of being on a horizontal, a vertical construction where you have transparency, but then that you have no el human element or um, that renders it even much more as actually the word means metaphysics, which means the, from the Greek beyond the physical object. And when we do have again the physical object, that these are uh, almost not urban, but I feel they're more suburban landscapes, because you have something which is represents the human element, the construction, the connection, the interconnection, but there is no sign of what they supply, where they come from, and where they're going to.